Hello, Sister Julie. Hello, Sister Sarah. Hello, Sister Bessie. Hello, Sister Emma. Hello, Sister Elsie. Good evening. Good evening, Sister Elsie. <clears throat> Pasensya na kayo sa background. Ang ganda ng background ko. <laughs> This is my, my little office. Hello, Hannah. Good evening po, Sister Tess, Sister Karen. City. <clears throat> yeah, Sister Joy, Berberabe, Sister Joy, Berberabe, yeah. Sister Felix, Flora, good evening, Paul. That's Cheeto. Cheeto. <laughs> I didn't know your name is Felix. It's not. Huh? It's not. <clears throat> okay. Hello, brother Mike. Okay, we we will start now. In uh, while we're waiting for the others, let's worship God. <clears throat> Welcome the Holy Spirit in, in our midst. Hallelujah. Welcome Holy Spirit. We are in your presence. Fill us with your
we are in your presence. Fill us with your you Holy Spirit in our midst tonight again one thing we ask is that you may guide us tonight even the words that we are going to hear from you may it be a nourishment to our soul health to our physical body and I pray O oh Lord God that you will encourage your people night after night after night because man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeded out of your mouth grace us with your mercy grace us with your Forgiveness, O Lord God, nagpapahugas po kami ng iyong banal na dugo sa aming mga puso, isipan, even, O Lord God, in our whole entire being, O Lord God. Lord, we just ask you, O God, to be with us, guide us, O Lord God, and once again, we continue to declare your Lordship over our lives and even this whole entire world. We thank you and we bless you in Jesus' name. This we pray, Amen and Amen and Amen. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Magandang magandang gabi po. Good evening to everyone. And uh, once again, this is our night of prayer. And let me just go straight to our word tonight. Uh, the Lord is uh, giving me, uh, giving all of us, uh, <clears throat> giving all of us His uh, word that will give us strength, especially in this time. Turn your Bible with me in the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 55, the book of Isaiah chapter 55, uh, and the title of this uh, short exhortation is, The more you know, the less you fear. The more you know, the less you fear. Uh, fear always knocks at the door of uh, a man or a woman's heart when there is uncertainty. Pag hindi natin alam kung anong mga nagaganap at nangyayari, Fear can easily creep in. But the more you know, the less you will fear. In other words, the more you know God, the more you will not fear. Because you are standing on the firm foundation of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, Isaiah chapter 55 says, let's start to read verse 1. <clears throat> Come, all you who are thirsty, come to the waters, and you who have no money, come buy and eat. Come buy wine and milk without money and without, without cost. Now, very interesting, the Bible says come and buy. Now, the currency, the currency of this world is uh, money. Di po ba? Pera, no? The currency, the world... Uh, kaya nga tayo nagtatrabaho and uh, we need uh, that's how the worldly system flows you need to work for money you need to earn money in order for you to to live you no know? to buy food to buy drink food shelter and clothing yung mga tatlong necessities na yun. and so that's the worldly system that's the worldly currency there's nothing wrong with that <clears throat> now there is another currency okay the currency, let me look at my notes. The currency of life, the currency of life is time. The currency of life is time. Ang currency naman ng heaven is faith. In order for us to tap in to the resources of heaven is faith. So the currency of this world is money. The currency of life is time. Everybody have time. And the currency of heaven is faith. Remember, we always spend time to your work in order for you to gain financial resources. I do believe that God wants to prosper you. God wants to prosper you. And God wants to prosper you. In and in order for us to be prosperous in our spirit, we need to spend time in prayer. We need to spend time in worship. 
We need to spend time in our relationship with God so that you will be filled with the currency of heaven. Amen? With the currency of heaven which is faith. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And so, when the Bible says in, in 3 John 2, that I wish above all things that you may prosper. And most of us are thinking financial prosperity. Well, it might be included, but the Bible is speaking that you may prosper spiritually. Kasi, ang pera po na ubos na wala. Amen? And what, what, what you will do if you run out of money? What, you, what, what are we going to do if we run out of job? And that is one aspect of life. But the other aspect is the currency of heaven, which is faith. Amen. That's why if you, the more you know, the less you fear. The more you know God, the more you know faith in God, the less you fear. Dahil when fear comes, especially in our season, meron kang gagastusin. What is the currency of heaven? It is the faith of God. You can come against any form of fear. Hindi kasi pwedeng bayaran ng pera yung takot. You cannot uh, pay fear with financial money or the, the financial currency, I should say. You, hindi mo mabibili yung takot. It, it will not accept. Your money is not good. Hindi mo bababayaran ng takot. But, fear respects your faith. Ayan. Fear respect your faith. Your faith. So, the Bible says that, that you need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Ayan. So, the currency of heaven is faith. That's why we are in isolation right now. We are in a quarantine right now. Hindi para parusahan tayo ng Diyos. But for us to go back to spend our time in reading the Word and in prayer. Why? Because your faith will increase. Your faith will increase. You will become prosperous in your spiritual life. Amen. So kapag ka dumami na ang challenges sa buhay, katulad ngayon, hindi mo gagamitin yung pera mo. You will use the currency of heaven which is the word of God faith man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeded out of his mouth that is the faith and so we will spend our currency of time yan we are spending time the currency of time to get the currency of faith in order for us to achieve God's plan so in times of a chaotic uh, situation right now a lot of people doesn't know what to do or what's going to happen why because their the currency uh, faith that they have is napakababa you know kaya ngayon god have caused this pandemic situation so that his people will become rich will become rich in faith in him so why bakit pastor in order for us to know what God's plan is in our life. I met a lot of Christian that's saying, hindi niya alam ang, ang plano ng buhay, probably, ng, ng Panginoon sa kanyang buhay, probably, the faith level is so low. But, when your faith increase, you will come to know the purpose of God in your life and my life. This season, we will not waste any more time. Marami na po kasi tayong inaaksayang oras ng nakaraan. Spending time on our jobs, spending time on our or social media. Yung mga hindi po nakakagain ng currency of faith. Spending time with, with, uh, with a lot of things and very little time spending with God. Ngayon, we will spend our time to God and God alone. Amen? We will gain a lot of faith in this season. This is what I believe. We will gain a lot of faith. A lot of word of God. A lot of anointing. You will swim. The world is getting bankrupt. But the people of God is prospering day after day after day. Why? Because you are being fed by God directly from heaven. You kneel down. And you know your faith will grow. 
after this situation, you will become a better Christian. You and I will become more useful for the Lord. We will gain a lot of faith because we will spend more time to buy faith as we have read in Isaiah chapter 55. Let me read it again. In verses 1, 2, and 3, the Bible says, Come, all you who are thirsty, come to the waters. In other words, if you come, you'll spend time in coming. Wala tayong trabaho ngayon. You don't have any work. And what you have is time. You spend your time in coming to the Lord. And he says, uh, Come, buy, and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without cost. Uh, hindi niya kailangan yung finances natin. He wants your time, our time. This is our currency of life. Ginagastos natin yung ating oras, ang ating panahon para tayo makagain ng wisdom ng Panginoon. Isn't it an exciting time? This is a very exciting time. He says, I don't need your money. I want your time. I don't need your money. I want your time. Because in your secular job, you are being paid for your time. And God says, spend your time with me. And he says in uh, verses 1, 2, and 3, it is an invitation to spend time to, to, to gain the Word of God, to have fellowship with God, for you and I to be filled with the Word of God. And verse 4 to 5, it is a revelation of His purpose. In verses 4 and 5, the Bible says, uh, let me read verse 3. Give ear and come to me. Hear me that your soul may live. Are you reading with me? Uh, Isaiah chapter 55 verse 3. Give ear and come to me. Hear me that your soul may live. I will make an everlasting covenant with you. My faithful love promised to David. He says, my goodness. I want you to come. It is a command. Spend time with me. God says, spend time with me. Wow. And right now, we are spending the currency of life. The currency of life. Ginagastos natin yung ating buhay. Ini-invest natin ang ating buhay. We are investing our life in reading the Word, in praying, and in worshiping the living God. Amen? And verse 4, See, I have made him a witness to the people. And then verse 4, he is saying, revealing. Why? Why do you have to spend time with God? He says in verse 4, See, I have made him a witness to the people. The purpose. You spend time with God and then he's revealing to you the purpose. Okay? I have made him a witness to her people, to the people, a leader and commander of the people. Don't you know that you are called to lead? He says, I am calling you to become a leader to your community, to wherever you may go. Amen. And he says, a leader and commander of the people, surely you will summon nations you know not. Surely you will summon nations, different nationalities, different ethnicity, because you have listened to the word of the Lord. He says, you will summon people of different nationality. In verse 5, Surely you will summon nations you know not, and nations that you do not know, you will, will hasten to you. In other words, different nationalities, different types of people will listen to us. Not because we are good, it's simply because we spend time and gain the purpose of God the faith of God, the word of God, so people will come to us. Amen. Especially this time of uh, uncertainty. Because the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for He has endowed you with splendor. In other words, He says, I will endow you. Alam nyo ba endowment? He will bless you. He will anoint you with His splendor. And you and I can only be endowed by the Holy Spirit if we will spend time with Him. Amen? That's why those people who are anxiety, have anxiety issues, those people who have uh, 
a worry issue or sadness or difficulties, they will come to you. Why? Because you have the Word of God. He has endowed you with His splendor. Amen? Napakabuti ng Panginoon. You will be rich in the anointing and the faith that God is going to reveal in your life. Amen? Oh, verse, verses 6 and 7. Verse 6, Seek the Lord while He may be found. Call on Him while He is near. It is an invitation of prayer. Hanggang meron ka pang time. <laughs> as long as you are still breathing, as long as you still have time, yung iba wala ng time, that's why they cannot seek the Lord. The Bible says, seek the Lord while He can be found. Pag nauubos na yung currency of life, which is time, pag wala ka nang maipanggastos, which is your time, you cannot pray anymore. It will be too late. So the Bible says, seek the Lord while He may be found. Hanggat may oras pa, mga kapatid. Hanggat may oras, let's uh, put aside all bitterness, all of these things, all of the anger issue, whatever type of issue, division, let's put it aside. It only purchase nothing. But the more we know, the less we will fear. He says, seek the Lord while He may be found. Hambang buhay ka pa, habang humihinga pa. Amen? Merong, merong iba buhay, pero may dementia, hindi na nila mahalaman. They cannot even know how to manage their time. But as long as we are healthy, spend time wisely. Purchase the faith of God. Spend time with God. Now, call on Him while He is near. Verse 7, Let the wicked forsake his way, and the evil man his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord, and He will have mercy on him. In other words, Hallelujah, there will be a transformation. Praise the Lord. There will be a transformation the transforming power of the Lord Jesus Christ when we spend time with God. And let the wicked man forsake this wickedness. Magkakaroon ng salvation, deliverance, healing because we spend time with Him. Amen? And verse 8 Verse 8 says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither your ways are my way, declare the Lord. So he's, what he's saying, he's guaranteeing us. He is the guarantor that whatever he release in your life, whatever anointing he have placed in your life, no virus can thwart it. No devil in hell can remove it. Amen. So the Bible says, that for my thoughts are higher than your thoughts, and neither are your ways my ways. Verse 9, As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Verse 10, As the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return to it without watering the earth, and making it bud and flourish, so that it yields seed for the sower, and bread for the eater. Verse 11. So is my word. Remember the faith. The currency of heaven. Once you receive it. Watch this. So is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty. But will accomplish what I desire. And achieve the purpose for which I sent it. Amen. The Bible says that the word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. When you are filled with faith, ano man ang sabihin natin, when you use your faith, God says, I am the guarantor. Whatever I have spoken in your life, it will happen. When you are filled with faith, and the Holy Spirit guided you to release that faith, He says, no devil in hell can hinder what He has released. It will accomplish what or the reason why He uh, sent that word in your life. For example, when you are filled with 
money in your pocket and you use that to buy the, the money to buy the, those things that are necessary when it returned to you it will start to decay anything any material things that you buy it will come to uh, it will depleted for example if you purchase a brand new car by the time that car goes out to the parking lot it already lost its value and let's say 10 15 20 years the value of the car that you have purchased or home whatever it may be is already depleted now the word of god cannot be depleted it cannot be downgraded the word of god which is the faith that we have the currency of heaven he says it can even move mountain hindi po bumababa ang halaga ng currency ng heaven which is the word of god it cannot be depleted there is no recession there is no depletion in the word of god i do believe right now god is making us prosperous in our faith in him isaiah 55 come those of you who does not even have money come he says and listen to my voice so right now we are praying not because we are fearful we are praying because we know can we just thank god tonight we he has revealed his plan you know the plan of god in our life for this season is for us to become prosperous in our faith in our love to him towards him and him alone so the more you know god the less you fear the more you know the less you fear yan sabihin nga po natin sa sarili natin the more i know god the less i fear ayan praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord the more i know him the less i fear so can we just spend our time with well, with god through prayer right now hallelujah come on let's us let us uh, hallelujah praise the lord tonight thank you lord can we lift up our hands wherever you may be and start to thank god salamat panginoon sabi niya seek the lord while he can be found in other words while you still breathing while you still have time to praise him praise him now while you still have time to learn more of him learn more of him now while you still have time that you can still hear hear him now and that is the message of the lord tonight for us come spend your time with him and father we thank you father we bless you for the time that you have Hallelujah. Yung iba hindi na po gumising ng kinabukasan ngayong araw na ito, O Lord God. But every day is a blessing. Every day is an invitation of God. And He says, come and hear my word. Hallelujah. Lord, we're coming to you. We're running to you, O Lord God. Hallelujah. We want to hear your voice, O Holy Spirit. We want you to lead us, O Lord God, in Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, I pray that each and every uh, brothers and sisters of mine will be filled with a uh, hallelujah faith hallelujah faith filled words in our hearts of God maging sisidla ng aming puso ang iyong ban ng iyong banal na salita o God <clears throat> in the name of Jesus and i pray hallelujah as you have deposited faith after faith in our hearts o lord god now we are releasing we are spending the faith that you have deposited in our lives and it will not return to you empty or void right now in the name of Jesus. We're praying for all of our brothers and sisters that are sick right now. We are releasing our faith. We're spending our faith in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Releasing healing upon healing to all of my brothers and sisters in New York, uh, Jersey City, and Bergen County. Lord, we're releasing our faith. We're releasing the currency of heaven. Hallelujah. And Lord, touch them and let them be healed 100% in Jesus' name. And Lord, even their family members, hallelujah, in the Philippines or whichever part of the world, Lord, we're releasing our faith, O oh God, hallelujah, which you have deposited in our hearts. We're releasing by the stripes of Jesus. They are healed in Jesus' name. And Lord, I even pray, hallelujah, 
for emotional healing, O oh God, <clears throat> for those people that are bombarded, hallelujah, by all kinds of circumstances in their lives, O oh Lord God. Lord, you taught us not to worry. And it becomes our faith. You said, do not be anxious. And Lord, we are walking by faith right now, praying by faith that anxiety, worry, fear, hallelujah, is gone in the hearts of your people in Jesus' name. And even, oh Lord God, uh, their employers are sick right now. For those people that your employers are sick, I pray for healing. Even, hallelujah, for the employers of my brothers and sisters right now, in Jesus' mighty name, I pray, O oh Lord God, that you will fill them, that, that their cup will run over, their cup will run over, hallelujah, overflowing with the revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we're coming to you in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, that uh, you will fill us with your Holy Spirit right now, in Jesus' name. Father God, we even pray for the nurses, for the doctors, Lord, even for those... Uh, uh, hallelujah, those people who cleans, hallelujah, the hospital, the housekeeping, O oh Lord God, the janitor, O oh Lord God, in Jesus' mighty name, we speak your protection, O oh Lord God. And Lord, you taught us, hallelujah, you have deposited in our spirit, O oh Lord God. You said in your word that we will trample down snakes and scorpions, hallelujah. Right now, you said, O oh Lord God, that whatever we bind on earth will be bound in heaven. We bind rulers and principalities. We bind coronavirus, hallelujah, especially and particularly in New York. Stop killing people in Jesus' mighty name. We rebuke death. We rebuke death. We rebuke the spirit of death. Hallelujah. You said, O oh Lord God, that whatever we let loose on earth will be loose in heaven. Lord, we pray, we pray that you will cover us with your mercy, with your grace. I pray for the blood of Jesus to cover New York, to cover New Jersey, O oh Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name, in this place where you have assigned us, O Lord God, we will fight the good fight of faith. Hindi kami manghihinawa, Panginoon. We will not get tired, hallelujah, in, in uh, our battle, O Lord God, in this prayer, O Lord God. Lord, coronavirus will die in Jesus' name. Every virus is dead right now. Hallelujah. That is harming and killing people in the name of Jesus. You taught us to fight the good fight of faith. Lord, you have said to put on the full armor of God. Pinahiram mo, Panginoon, ang iyong armor sa amin, O Lord God. Because you know we will be in a, in a fight right now. And right now, with me and my brothers and sisters in Christ, O Lord God, we are joining our prayers, O Lord God, that coronavirus is dead, hallelujah, and never to rise again in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray, hallelujah, for our government officials right now. I pray for the release of wisdom, your wisdom, not the worldly wisdom. I pray, O Lord God, for the police officers, O Lord God. I pray for the National Guards. I pray for the hospitals, O Lord God. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we speak the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ to all of them, the frontliners, even for the garbage collectors, Panginoon. Ingatan mo sila, Panginoon. Hallelujah for the food services. Hallelujah. And Lord, even for those churches that are praying, anoint the mouth of your prayer warriors right now. In Jesus' mighty name, we speak life to New York. We speak life to, hallelujah, to New Jersey. In Jesus' name, in the book of Ezekiel, the Lord God have, have talked to Ezekiel. Hallelujah. Speak to all of those dry bones. We speak to the dry bones in the name of Jesus that they may come alive in Jesus' name. These are the faith, the word of God that you have deposited. Now we are using it, O oh Lord God. Speaking life to them, O oh God. Speaking unity, O oh Lord God. Speaking, hallelujah, faith-filled words. Hallelujah. We are speaking your words right now. Praying your words, O oh God. In Jesus' name. I pray for every home, hallelujah, right now, that we will spend our time wisely in the name of Jesus. Praying for one another. Hallelujah. Praying, O Lord God, for one another. Absorbing what the Holy Spirit is leading us into, O Lord God. In the name of Jesus. 
I pray that none of the JL people here in Area 1 will become a victim of this vicious virus, O oh Lord God. I pray for the protection of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. By the stripes of Jesus, we have been healed by God already in Jesus' mighty name. We pray for the scientists. We pray that you will give them wisdom, O Lord God, hallelujah, to find a cure in Jesus' name. We pray, O Lord God, hallelujah, for hallelujah, the Philippines, for Brother Eddie Villanueva, Lord, protect this man, O Lord God. Allow him, O Lord God, to do the things that you want him to do with a healthy physical body, his children, his leadership, in Jesus' mighty name. We speak the blood of Jesus over our spiritual director. We speak the blood of Jesus over his children, O Lord God, that not only hallelujah serving the uh, the church but they're serving the whole entire country oh lord god brother joel as the senator sister johnny hallelujah as the mayor oh lord god protect them oh lord god in jesus mighty name i pray oh lord god for the president hallelujah of the united states and president of the philippines oh lord god lord give them wisdom that is coming from you oh lord god right now in jesus mighty name as they pro as they uh working hallelujah for the people under them oh lord god i pray that you will surround them with advisors who has the fear of the lord in jesus mighty name i pray oh lord god hallelujah for the whole entire world oh lord god that your name will continue to stand out from north south east and west in the name of jesus you will be exalted above all the nations in jesus mighty name Lord, maraming maraming salamat. We even pray for our Sunday service tomorrow, O Lord God. I pray in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, that you will speak life through Bishop Brother Eddie Villanueva. And I pray that all of us will gather together, O Lord God, hallelujah, tomorrow morning, not with a heavy heart, but with a heart that is filled with joy, hallelujah, filled with hope, and filled with the strength and anointing of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you for revealing yourself to us. It gives us peace. It gives us comfort. And I pray, O Lord God, hallelujah, for the Paran family, O Lord God, comfort them. Hallelujah, as they are grieving right now, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will supply all of their needs according to, their, uh, to your riches and glory in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for Brother Nestor's uh, place in the Philippines, hallelujah, Lord, that uh, the president... Hallelujah, have made a decision to put all of those sick people in the in that area, O oh Lord God. I pray for the protection, hallelujah, in Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, I pray that your people will continue to experience peace that surpasses all understanding. Thank you, Panginoon, sa mga taong pinagaling mo in any uh, sickness and disease. Thank you, O oh Lord God. We give you all the glory. It is your doing to heal people and to bless people. Lord, hindi namin kalilimutan o Diyos na ikaw ay pasalamatan dahil sa iyong kabutihan. We will not forget to thank you and to bless you and to, hallelujah, prayerfully and reverentially, hallelujah, give you all the glory. Maingat na maingat namin itinataas ang iyong pangalan. Mula sa aming puso, from the bottom of our hearts, we thank you and we bless you. And we lift up your name. Once again, allow us to spend our time wisely in meditating your word, in listening to your voice, O Holy Spirit, and you may reveal your purpose in our lives. Thank you, O Lord God, for calling us your witness. Thank you, O Lord God, for calling us your leaders, O Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, thank you, and we bless you, and we give you all the glory, honor, praises, and thanksgiving. In Jesus' mighty name, this I pray. Amen and amen and amen. If you, hallelujah, if if you still want to pray, you may do so. If the Holy Spirit is uh, urging you to pray more, please pray. Pray and pray. But pray with faith. Faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you once again. Glory, glory to God. You are rich. Mayaman tayo sa pananampalataya. Amen? 
And the only way is to spend time with God. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Again, our church tomorrow is... Uh, uh, our church service tomorrow is individual. Okay? Bergen County will have their own. Uh, Jersey City will have their own. And uh, New York will have our own service. And it will be through... Uh, watch party watch party uh, JL New York just uh, tune in to our Facebook page just like where you at right now except hindi lang po siya live we are doing it through watch party okay kung hahanapin niyo po it's the same Facebook page where you at right now but in a setting of watch party not uh, Facebook live okay po uh, we will start our prayer intercession at 9.30. 9.30 po ang prayer intercession. And uh, the, the, the worship uh, and the preaching, we will start at 10. Okay po? And of course, we will have our uh, worship giving as well and then closing prayer. So, see you again tomorrow. And may you continue to be anointed. And may you continue to be more closer and closer to the living God. Amen? I, well, one more. Whatever you touch, I pray, will prosper. Ano man ang iyong hawakan, ano man ang pinapagawa ng Panginoon sa inyo, for sure it will prosper. To God be all the glory. We love you all. And... Uh, we cannot help but to uh, miss you. We miss you guys. Maraming maraming pong salamat. Amen. See you tomorrow. God bless everyone.